somewhere in this country called Ghana, a road leading to the offices of urban roads has been blocked by a private developer for a bigger wall to be constructed. Now, according to this private developer, the road was constructed on his land and he has come to develop the land and he has no option left than to block this road. Now, urban road is in charge of constructing first class roads in this country. And the road leading to their office has been blocked by a private individual how is that possible this is an asphalted road that was constructed to create access to the department of urban roads the office of the regional security coordinating council from areas like dakojom santase and the rest but this morning what we are seeing is that the road has been blocked in fact a private developer has constructed a wall to block access. He's saying the road was constructed through his land. For him, he has no option than to block it because it is about time he develops his land. We have been trying to engage authorities from the Department of Urban Roads to seek some answers. Even though they've not spoken to us on camera, they have confirmed to us that indeed this portion of the land belongs to a private developer and for that matter due diligence was not done before the road was constructed through this land so motorists who use this road this morning were stranded and for now they have to use a longer route before they will be able to access the place and this is about a 200 kilometer stretch that has been blocked and the issue is not about a private developer developing his land, but it is about the money that has been sunk in building this road. This is the route I used to go to the urban roads to do some checks. And so I, I'm just surprised as you are to, to meet this, this very development. It's, it's a shame. I mean, uh, for somebody very bold enough to to build just behind the regional coordinating council. This is a government land. I've been a deputy minister of the region before. I know this area, all lands here belongs to government. So if there is a private individual developer who can have the courage to block the main road leading to the urban roads department and to some offices of the regional coordinating council then that person must be a very powerful person this is a serious financial loss issue that i think that the special prosecutor should be looking into this because the point is that monies were approved for the construction of this road if somebody didn't do his or her work well to get this road passed through a private individual's uh, uh, land then that person has caused a serious financial loss to the state. Whoever sold this land to a private developer also have some questions to answer. Whoever gave the authority for the construction to even take off also has some questions to answer. So the road was blocked one and the wall constructed two and this couldn't have happened just in a day. It took time for it to happen. So the question is urban roads where were they? And the people who live around these areas, the, the, the community people around this area, where were they? Why did they not report to anybody that the government used money, public money, to construct a road and an individual has come to block and build a wall? Why didn't they report to anybody? Why? Something is fishy in this situation.